Tonight at KITV Investigation, six months into Honolulu's ban on using electronic devices while driving, we can tell you if you are a male, young, and a local resident, you are more likely to get busted with the new law. We also know it is very, very difficult to beat the citation, but it is possible. KITV's Daryl Huff has been going through pages of data from hundreds of citations. Daryl? Pamela, to be exact, 1,649 citations issued from the first day of the electronic device ban until the middle of last month. And we found some interesting trends about who's getting the tickets, about who's trying to get off the hook. I was very upset. On the first day of the ban, an officer spotted Cecilio Alvarado chatting away on her phone in Kaimo Key. Oh, so you followed me for quite a while. He did. And you were talking all this time? I was talking all that time. Because you had no idea. Clueless. But don't assume women drivers are more likely to get busted. In fact, two-thirds of those cited have been men, 64% male and only 35% female. And they are on the younger side, 38% were under 30. And the older you get, the less likely you've been ticketed. Only 5% of those cited have been over 60. Hawaii residents got 94% of the tickets. Only 5% were from out of state. And very few people are fighting the tickets. It seems that people have complied with the law. A sample of more than 100 citations show fewer than 10% challenged the violation. Attorney Pat McPherson represents people in traffic court, but he says the relatively low fine and the fact that it won't affect most insurance policies makes people accept the penalty. Since it's only $67, I think people were just willing to pay it because they were probably talking on the phone when they got pulled over. Tonight at 10, we do look at the handful of people who have beaten those cell phone citations, and we figured out how they did it. Reporting live, Daryl Huff, KTV4, Island Television News.